Welcome to another Green Dragons Gaming Report. Uh, today it's actually going to be, um, basically it's uh, GT Mountain Mayhems. And today I have the one and only Skip, what? Skip Schnitt. <laughs> Skip Schnitt from the forums, uh, uh, aka uh, Ben Jones. Yeah. Ben Jones. And we're going to be doing um, uh, the first game that I had, um, Serum C 2015, over here at Mountain Mayhem in Warrington, Virginia. So this is uh, actually put on by uh, Gene Phelps. Uh, his channel is um, Wargaming uh, in the Balcony, and he's putting on a great event. It's uh, in a firehouse, and we're we're having a blast. One of these videos, I actually took a couple pictures. We're we're sitting down. It's about eleven o'clock at night. We just came back from the bar <laughs> and uh, and had yep. dinner and everything else. Uh, it's board game time. It's yeah, it, as Ben just says, board game. It, it's great, and that's what actually they're doing uh, behind us. Um, but uh, with that said, is the, whoever wins this is going to have an invitation for North American Masters. Now, we actually, this is a heavy, heavy uh, group here. It's a lot of talented players. There's yeah. what, about at least eight current and former ATC players here. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and then you've got other players that haven't been to anything like that that are like, got, a, got a huge spread. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of talent and, here. Well, it's still it's a huge yeah. spread of talent, and it's actually it's really currently close. I'm not going to give things away, but it's it's it's, <laughs> it's still open. No one's been running away with it no, yet. It's pretty close. Yeah. Um. So let's see. So, and one thing that if let's say someone wins this GT, okay, but they already won a previous GT. That means that whoever's right below that would get get that invite. Get the invite. Yeah, gotcha. and things like that. So again, that's going to be held up in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, at Gamers Keep or Gamers Heaven. I'm sorry, Gamers Heaven. Gamers Keep is another store. Uh, Gamers Heaven in Phoenixville, and right where Dragon's Den was, and Girl Quest will be run at the same time. And it's going to be really good. We only have 64 slots uh, available, so uh, once uh, things get posted, you can turn around and uh, set, uh, say you want to go and everything else. Uh, let us know. Okay. So, uh, exactly. Uh, so, again, it's going to be a Green Dragons game report. Without us, they couldn't. Um, they wouldn't feel like winners. Without them, we couldn't look so good. It's late. I can't remember my own <laughs> tagline. <laughs> oh my god! Many beers later. Oh. Many games. I, I lost track of how many freaking beers. It's like at least two or three per game. Yeah. Um, All day. And, yeah. It, it, it. But it's so much fun right now. That's right. So your liver begs for Monday. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. It's uh man. Uh, I'm so glad I work from home on Monday. <laughs> so what we have here is this is going to be my first game. And I actually challenged um, a uh, player. I'm going to bring up his list right now. Uh, Andrea Nini. And he's playing uh, Demonic Legions. He is a good player. He's based out of uh, New York City. And uh, he's from Italy. Italy. In case his, Italy. Yep, in case his name didn't give that one away, you know. <laughs> um, and it, it was a lot of fun to turn around and then play his list. So um, Ben's doing this with me, so I'm going to read off his list and kind of our own list review. Yeah. Tell me what you think of his list. Um, all right, so it's polytheistic. He's got a harbinger of pestilence on a fly that has a four-up uh, regen, is a divination adept, and has a howl. Um, it's kind, of, kind of fighty there. Yep. Um, but it's only and, and I mean it's support with support with the you know with the divination there. Yeah, I think he also makes you uh, agility one. Okay, any unit that's touching him makes, is agility one. So let's see. Yeah, nausea in order. Then he's got the Weaver of Change, which I hate. He's got the Power Vortex, Thaumaturgy, the Ether Wand, Black Orb, so it's minus two to any casting from Divination, and the Shackles of Reality, which gives it a four up regen save, I believe. Right. That's, that's a kind of a typical build for that guy. Oh, it's brutal. Yep. Very nasty. Yep. The Horrors, which shoots, uh, and he's got the Champion for more magic. So he's definitely magic heavy right now. Um. What do you think? Is that good or bad in this uh, meta right now? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's solid. I mean, not, not to give anything away, but you know. Well, I'm not. <laughs> that's why I'm asking you your opinion. It's, it's rock paper scissors. 
You know, well, well, it's like against a, certain builds, oh, it's just brutal. You know, he'll crush somebody. But then other, you know, that can dance around and escape it and keep his magic in check. Well, he's got three he different okay. mages, though. Do you think he needs three mages? No, because I think with the magic system the way it is now, mm -hmm. you're, you're guaranteed one, usually. Mm -hmm. But to have so many spells, well, now you're just wasting time thinking, what am I going to do when you're only going to get two or three spells off a turn? You know what? And I'd get dispelled. So That's a really, really good point. Um, That's why I don't run. I don't run heavy magic. Cause no? I'll, I'll, hey, I'll four dice it. Boom. If I get it, great. If I don't, all right. I'll use something else. <laughs> Shooting or, or maneuverability or so. No, that's a good point. That's a really good point. That but so, demons are kind of squishy. Their cores are kind of squishy, so they almost need. Eh, need you got Tallyman right now at uh, resilience four with a regen save. True. But not in that list, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Got, but he's got the blue flies. Yeah, blight, yeah, blight flies. Or blight flies, whatever. Yeah, they're, they're nice. Yeah. Um, so he's got the big brick of slaughters with the champion with the blood sword. Um, musician, rending banner. Um, uh, 29. Or 30, the total is 30. Um, and he's got two uh, things of fury of change. And what were those last two on there? Uh, the blight flies. flies. So he's got five blight flies. I remember that being a brick of six is five crusher calf yeah a lot so, of points in those two units too yeah uh yeah six ten and seven fifteen seven fifteen man you smack that thing and just then sit back <laughs> all right so I'll tell you what here's my list because can it ever get its points back the 715 points you know the blur the blight flies well it's points denial too that's true too that's the thing is it will can it get its points back possible Hey, look, if you're playing dwarves, you get two war machines, yeah, you got yeah, your points back. You get your points back. Um, against my my current list, it's points denial. I mean, I have to turn around and throw too many points into that to kill it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, because you got the 710 and then you got the character up there. Where is it? I don't think it's got points on it. Uh, is that the guy right there, the yeah. 610? 610. So that unit there is 1,300 points. points. Uh, that's that's just too much. So, all right. You brought a trebuchet, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. So this is my list. Um, feel free to bash it or do whatever. I mean, I've been playing something similar to this for quite a while. Right. So I've got Tristan's Resolve. Um, a lot of people are telling um, paired up with um, Renown. So that's D3 wounds. Right. Uh, if I get Lethal Strike, I get D3 wounds. A lot of people have been turning around and telling me that to... Um, uh, that to change that um, to what the hell sword is that? It bless inscriptions. Because now I'm re-rolling a wound if and I'm only strength four, so if I fail, right. I get um, I re-roll and have a better chance to roll a six. Gotcha. I like having the extra attack and actually being able to mulch up infantry. Right. That that's I, I like that too. I like attrition. I want more. More, more is better. Yeah, and that's more attacks. And okay, if I miss a couple, fine. I, it, the others that I get extra will, will bail me out. And that's what I find with Aquitaine is they don't have enough attacks. Right. So that's that's why I you, I've you're, done you're, that. Yeah, because you they've got nice things, multiple weapons, you know, yep. multiple wound weapons. But if you don't, if you go against a bunch of infantry or somebody with single wounds, eh, you're kind of stuck now. Yeah. Four attacks. What are they going to do? It, it, it's what can I do on the charge after the charge? You know. Right. That's why uh, demons is a great uh, counter. Uh, undead is a great counter. Great counter. Of course, that's what I'm playing tomorrow. Is undead. Undead. <laughs> I'm going shit. There's um, zombies here and there. No, the other blocks. undead. Oh, the under, oh, oh, uh, 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 Undying Dynasties. Undying? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm playing uh, uh, Phil Blake. So that's oh, a yeah. Well, that's another story there. Buddy Phil. Oh, man. Um, I was only going to get two points. Well, I, I did take a picture <laughs> of that menu, by the way, to add to that. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, the, I'll be on the uh, another uh, video later on. So uh, Lady Cell, I changed her around. So this was a mistake on my part. Uh -huh. I submitted my list with Divination compared right. to Druidism. <laughs> Okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because it's like, oh dear God, I want the buffs. I want to be able to bus. defend myself. Bring your grails back to life. Seriously. <laughs> I'll say this. This has actually been working so far. Really? It, That's yeah, good. This has been working. I, um, unfortunately, it's not going to do me jack against Phil Blake tomorrow, but it's been working so far. Um, I've got the uh, wafers. Well, she, well, well, she's a master, right? She is. Well, the nearing is pretty good. 
because he's got a lot of he's got a lot of big stuff. He does on earrings, um, and also uh, face judgment yeah. is another one. Because yeah. uh, hey, look, the what's that one that wounds on a what is it? Four, uh, that's three, an three six. That's the earring, right? Uh, three six. That's on earring strike, and then uh, the other one wounds automatically, no special saves. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Um, she's on a unicorn, and she's got the wafers. There and there's that game in the background. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wafers of pestilence, of uh, not pestilence, uh, penitence. So that's I, after I roll my dispel dice. It's one use only. I can right. add two to that dispel roll. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you, that that should help you. To, I hope. Yeah, that actually helps me in one of my games. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that was clutch. All right. So then I've got Lady Sophia, who's an adept shamanism, Talisman of the Void, Bard of Warhorse. This is actually more magic than what I usually take. Gotcha. I usually only have the Master Druid. That's it. On a unicorn. Um, I've got a uh, paladin, so Sir William, uh, Val of the Quest. Um, you know what? I think I forgot to put it on here. Uh, Breslin's a uh, Grail Knight, by the way. He's a, a Duke of the, uh, the Val of the Grail. Gotcha. Um, cleansing Light, so flaming attacks. Yep. That's uh, nice to be able to turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. Plus one... Um, Face Halt Infusion is plus one uh, armor and three up uh, against fire. Mm, nice. um, Virtue of Piety, so his entire unit gets a five plus. And, of course, Bar War Horse. And Eleven Knights of the Realm with uh, full command, Barrier the Last Charge. Five Aspirants, five Aspirants with Musician. Uh, five, um, eight Knights of the Quest, full command. Eight Knights of the Grail, full command with the Banner of Speed. Five mounted uh, Yeoman Outriders with Light Lance Shield. Five mounted Yeoman Outriders with Light Lance Shield and Light Armor. And then Scorpion, Scorpion. Um, it's, it's, it's a KOE list. Uh, there's another KOE uh, army here that actually has a huge Brick of Forlorn. So nasty. <laughs> um, so, so out of the two, because this, again, this is pure cab. The other one's yeah. got that huge brick of infantry and then another brick of peasants that he's using as a bunker. Right. And he's got the two hippogriffs. Right. And a master druid. Well, see, isn't it nice, though? And that a BSV. They, they, that they have a, an army. I know on the forum things blow up all the time about KOE. Yep. But you have varieties. You have variety playable lists that you can do. Which list are you more scared of? Um, well, the big brick of realm there. But then the, I would have to say the, the 30 forlorn. The 30, <laughs> those 30 the 30 forlorn. forlorn. It's just, and it has a banner of speed on them, too. Yes. Yeah, so and I mean, piety. So it's, just get up there and, and a reliquary. Go eat. Yeah. So. It's just a huge points weight. Uh, oh, it's, points it's a lot of points. Yep. I mean, it's, it's one of them things. You're doomed to, you know. Yep. If they go, now you're screwed. All right. So, but I like all the maneuverability you've got here, all the different <laughs> units. Thank you. All right. Uh, so here's my uh, shamanism. Uh, so what the hell did I take? Awaken the Beast and Swarm of Insects. Um, the reason I took Swarm of Insects is I know he doesn't have any shooting, but 5d6, you got to, you got to roll six. It, it, you know, it's so overlooked and underappreciated, that, that spell. I figure I could sneak it in. Five, I, yeah. Yeah, you need sixes on most right. cases. But. And I don't know why it's in there twice. Um, and that's, that's cool. That's why. That is my unicorn, <laughs> the old Morgana Le Fay. If you really want to see it, turn it, um, turn, turn your head. Exactly. <laughs> Just turn the computer. Um, I know I have um, Stars Align, Breath of a Lady, um, Unearing Strike is in there, and I believe I also took Fate's Judgment, and then Guiding Light is the last card there. Um, of course, I'm not looking at it. I'm going from memory, but, you know, you guys can see. Uh, here's the board. So this is after at least the first Vanguard. Yeah, this is after the uh, Vanguards. Um, yeah, it's the game one was the diagonal. Yeah, it was. And secure, tar um, secure target. Yep. Was the objectives. So I put mine all the way back in the back corner. He put his all the way. In retrospect, I should have put it on the. I should have picked table size and then put it all the way on the right. On the right. In retrospect. Um, he put his right smack dab in front of that hill going in the middle, thinking that he, he would get his slaughters up there. Hmm. The issue was, gotcha. is, okay, you chaff me. I'm not going to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think one thing I've learned, use the chaff against them. 
Right. It's like, okay, you want to chaff me? That's great. Now you're not going to charge me. You're not going to charge me either. And, leave it there. Yeah. And that's actually one of the benefits of, um, I found, divination right. versus druidism. It's like, all right, you chaff me. Magic, 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 right. shooting. Yeah. So. Just gives you another turn. Exactly. Um, but I found it odd. He cornered. Yeah. For that list to castle like that, that's kind of yep. weird. Yep. All right. So, again, there he is. Now, I'm just going to go back to one thing here. So, what happened was, is he was down to his slaughters and characters. And I saw it a bunch of drops. I dropped everything except for just my characters. All right. Because I'm like, you know what? You'll get the plus one. Um, you get, uh, and um, on a tie, we win. Right. Had I actually dropped... Yeah, and in which case... Um, had um, I dropped everything and both rolled fours, he still would have gotten first turn. Right. So he ends up with first turn. I think she gave it a shot. Yep. I thought it was a smarter play. So here's uh, here's this. Um, I st- still don't know. He centered. He put the blight flowers right in the middle. Yeah. Kind of surrounded them. So he they kind of slid, shimmied, wheeled, whatever. Um, oh, that cannon, by the way, that's the Weaver. He left his uh, the Weaver model back in New York. Uh, but, again, those are the uh, crushers on the left. He's got – he's putting his chaff behind his units. Uh, so he's got the horrors back there. And he's uh, just uh, sliding his um, white flies over. And he uh, shimmied the um, slaughters. And let's see. And that's it. Oh, but one thing. Um, I'm just going to go back a few picks. If you look between the two brick of knights, you'll see my duke. I was not worried about his magic. Because yeah. <laughs> it's what? It's AP2, AP3. Right. And rerollable armor saves with a ward save. So, I, I, I just... Braveheart. Huh? I mean Braveheart. Yep. Stick him right there. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Freedom! <laughs> All right. So, again, so now we're here... Now starts his magic phase. He turns around and kills three of those knights. I rolled my first leadership test. I failed. I'm like, oh, they're gone. I'm like, wait a minute. They were within range of the BSB. Screw that. <laughs> and I rolled a four, so they stuck. Um, and then he did a miscast on Wrath of God. And I could have stopped it, but I let it go. Cause it's like, all right. So I can wound his character on um, four. So what happened is, is he, um, he rolled three fours. So it's the miscast, so it's minus one because he rolled three dice, so that becomes a five. And then because his thaumaturgy becomes a six. So <laughs> I'm like, it, it, was, it was a great big, come on, Caps. Just doing, this is uh, the bow report for game one. Pull up a chair. Um, so I let it, I let it go through. Right yeah, we're recording right now. <laughs> yeah, Sorry on. for interrupting everyone. Ah, <laughs> come on, sit down, pull up a chair. So right now uh, we have the doctor. Was it doctor one two three? What on the form? I think it's. I think it's just the doctor. Oh, just the doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here with the doctor. <laughs> doctor who? <laughs> um. So that's why I let it go, and he uh, placed his comment right smack dab between my units. I'm like, eh, all right. Um. So here's how um the board looks. So right underneath the the that unit there, that's the brown knights. That's the Knights of the Quest. Those are the Knights of the Realm. Um, aspirants, yeoman. So for those that can't see you pointing to the screen. Well, the dude, dude is the, the, the yeah. yellow knights. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm telling um, uh, uh, Ryan here what everything is. Uh, ye- uh, the this yeoman. is against Andrew's demons. Yeah. yeah. And I got one bolt throw there. All the way on the far right-hand side, which is why it's never in any of the shots, is another bolt throw. <laughs> <laughs> it's another, the other scorpion. Um... I figured that was he, your points bank, right? Huh? That was your points bank. Well, no. I figured he, <laughs> when I put it there, I figured he was going to because he um, was going to place it, uh, place his crushers down the middle. You know, right. give that range to give uh, them some choices. Help come around. Yeah, and he didn't. He put them on the one flank, and I'm like, all right. Well, there was just it was set up to go right down the line. Um, again, 48 inch range. Yeah. So the comic comes down. Uh, during uh, at the end of my magic phase, and you can see the yeomen are gone. I lost two uh, knights of the um, two ground knights and three knights of the quest. Um, 
However, one thing, if you do look at this picture, there's two models there in front of our crusher calf. And you can see them. Um, oh, you got a little. So he charged me during his turn. Uh -huh. no, those, those are aspirants. Okay. All right. And this is uh, the, just uh, the rest of his movement. And he's being a little conservative. Finally, he decided to bring his slaughters up onto the front line. And his blight flies are still sitting there. He doesn't want to get charged by those Grail Knights. He doesn't want to get charged by the Grail Knights, and he doesn't want to get charged by the Knights of the Realm up on the hill with the Impact Banner. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely, I, I can understand why. And, let's see. He wins combat. He barely kills those two Knights. Barely does it. Uh, because one is how I chaffed him. He can only get two of his models in there. And that was only... I think they've got one attack each from the guys up top. Yeah, they yeah. don't get enough attacks, really, for what they cost. No. Yeah, because that's a 600-point unit. Yeah, you only got the mount, but it has two or three attacks, and the rider is just one. But it's unbreakable. Yeah. Well, to a point. It can, it can fade out. That's kernel test, yeah. It can crumble, but can, it, it, can, go, it oops, gets a stomp. Disappear. It has a five-up ward save mm -hmm. and a four-up armor save. Yeah, I'm not and saying it's resilient cheap, four. but they need... Eh, they're cheaper know. than my brick of ground I hey, said on the board. Did they battle focus? No, they no. have lethal strike. Lethal strike. Yeah. They have lethal strike. And, then, and they focus. always get plus one strength. First oh, round of combat. combat. Gotcha. And then uh, also the mounts have three attacks each at strength six AP three. So he looks like he's in an okay yeah. position, although he's going to get charged by ground knights, I guess. Well, uh, so you can just see at the bottom right, you see the uh, fury. That's yep. a fury in the corner. Yeah? Yep. So... He decides to chaff me up there with his furies. What is he chaffing? What, what's that unit? Well, that's the Knights of the Quest. Yeah. And my Duke. Oh. I did not bother putting my Duke in a unit. You weren't here for that. <laughs> um, and I'm like, fine. Duke goes in, and I end, and I end up pulling them back. So at the end, after combat, magic, and everything else, <coughs> I kill only two. <laughs> and he's like, all right, let's do a leadership test. And he rolls his leadership. He rolls a four. And he goes, okay, he goes to pick him up, and he, he did this on, so like, oh, crap. And he checks his range to his weaver, and they were still within range. So that's actually uh, bad for him, because you're going to kill him the next round, and then he can <laughs> pivot wherever you want. Exactly. Um, so here we are. So the cannon that you see on the board, which is uh, back left, the is the weaver, because he left mile at home. Um, and... This is actually the uh, end of his movement, but I uh, just want to say one thing. I took my unit on the right, the Aspirants, because, uh, going down the right flank, because I figure he's going to sit there and do the dance with the Blight Flies. So I have to go around, because I want to try to at least disrupt or dispute that uh, token all the way in the back. I put uh, my secure target in the back corner. Should have put it on the robot on the other corner, but that's my own doing. And I figure if you chaff me with the Furies, that's fine. Um, getting them out of the way. If he goes after him with the Blight Flies, all right, kicks him out of the game. Right. Um, and that's, that's my goal with that. Um, he just does some shimmering around. Nothing happens. I think I actually stopped uh, all but one of his spells during his magic phase, and I made all my saves. So not, nothing happened. Um, this is uh, the um, end of, this is the end of his movement. Gets another comet off right there, right between the two. Oh my like, fucking comet! That's two. Yeah. Oh. I uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do it next time. I'm thinking three binding scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you can only max out a two. And two, got that. Yeah, that's gonna cheat. It's a special ID rule. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so. Um, I do end up killing those three easily during um, uh, Furies, and during his combat. Charge into and his. I charge my Duke by his lonesome into the uh, slaughters. Mm. All right. Um, and then I just, I know there's, uh, he's got the one, uh, the one thing there. I move the realms up and the grails pull back just a little bit and the uh, Knights of the Quest uh, basically slide over. What happened with those bite flights? He moved them last turn? The blight flies are now in front. Um, they flew over to kind of counter the. So what are your what are your and um, what are your thoughts right now? 
Um, wait, who's, it's it's going to be his turn next. It's your turn right yeah. now. Yeah, and I have a unit, uh, my yeoman, going back in a conga line right behind my um, my aspirants. So you can't hop him? Uh, no, so I could hop him. No, so he can't. Wait. If he, charged, if he charges me. Yo, you're going to flee. Yep. And then... And then pop a weed and then toward the hill. So he can't. So he can't catch me. Yeah. And then and then you'll just hold with the yeoman. I why guess not, that why not flee? You can flee? Yeah. Yep. That 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 was my my thought process. And then during the following turn, I would actually uh, for rally test do the yeoman first, then do the um. And he doesn't have space right there to put the the flies over into the yeoman. Correct. Over. Okay. Yeah, because he's uh, th- uh too deep. Uh, can he put the how far are the flies from that grail or the uh, lance? L- you need 11 on dice I'd almost be worth it I'll agree with that <laughs> I, I but it's 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 it's, <coughs> it's risky yeah it's risky the other th- reason why I didn't care about the white flies getting my flank they fly steadfast yeah <laughs> and um but you're just strength three knights, right? Strength four. Strength four, yeah. Strength four with uh, two up, five up. <coughs> so, all right. Um, so, needless to say, he actually does charge. Um, well, let's see. Next pick. Um, I think it's just a uh, pick as to uh, what's going on. So, this is everything after uh, movement. Uh, actually, actually, this was actually after his uh, right before his turn. So I do flee with the uh, aspirants, popping all the way back on top of the hill, and I end up killing like one or two of the crusher cab with my duke. Um, and then he tries to charge me with his um unit of whatever the hell they are, the uh, slaughters. How far of a charge was that? I want to say a 13 inch. So he needed a 8? Yeah. He rolled a 7. Oh, hmm. and then he moved so far forward that now you're in his flank. <laughs> with, the, with a brick of grail knights. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Yep. yep. <clears throat> and so I had that going there. I got the uh, quest in, the, what's left of the crushers. He did put two wounds on me. That's probably what that other picture was showing. He did put <laughs> two wounds on me last phase, but this is now the third round of combat. That Duke's going in there, um, and I did fail to rally them, so they just um, the Knight Aspirants. He did not choose to uh, charge the uh, other Yeoman, and that's it. So this is uh, this is the end of the game, because um, unfortunately we only made it to turn four. Um, the Blight flies because they failed charge to sit in front of the Yeoman. Uh, the Knights of the Grail uh, bit did just over 10 wounds when all said and done. <laughs> but uh, not enough for half. Well, the unit was below it. half, but you have to have below 25%. 25. Yeah. 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 So, And it, I I was I had nothing else to do. Did you get the crushers? I got all the crushers. All nice. Yeah. And uh, who had an objective? He, so he he's, his horrors box. is going back there. And my um, Knights of Realm are within six. So you push it. Yep. So, again, it's not that I have not been playing the objectives. So you're going to win, what, 12? It's 11 9. 11 9. Yeah, it's still 11 9. It was close to a 12, but it was still <laughs> just 11 9. Um, a Weaver is a lot of points, and his White Fly is a lot of points. Oh, so it kind of, you know, point denial. Yeah, 1,300 points for the White Fly and character that's in there. Yeah. 1,300, 1,400 points. It's like, unless I, I mean, yeah, I can get a big victory, but I have to go into that unit. And yeah, it's, that's a that's a scary unit to go into. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't feel it's scary for me to go into. It's just I'm going to hit it and get stuck there, and then he's going to be able to flank. Yeah. That that's my issue. It's too many wounds for me to go through with his all his saves. <laughs> so for me, my MVP was Duke. My, my Duke Breslin, even with um, right. you hold his own against him. Uh, yeah, Furies. <laughs> well, against, against the Crusher Cap, the he crusher, took on the Crusher, crusher Cap. Too, yeah, yeah, and um, for him, it was the hardest just being able to turn around and get back. So, yeah, because yeah, that basically saved a yeah six point swing. As I said, this was turn four. Unfortunately, I feel that had this gone five six, it would be a much 
different game because he's um, he's got about three wounds on his Weaver currently. So he doesn't want to really commit him into combat at this point in time. Um, my Grail Knights are just going to make mincemeat out of the slaughters. Um, what unit is there by the hill? Uh, the Knights of the Realm with the impact banner. Gotcha. So they potentially could get flank charged by the blight flies, right? Well, I just took this picture. It's my turn next. Oh, okay, gotcha. Ah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would have been fine. All right. Yeah, <laughs> it's my turn next. All right. And that's it. Um, thoughts, comments, uh, please go ahead uh, and email away. And until next time, happy gaming.